Que pasa mi amigos, Nima here, and today I'm going to talk about a game I picked up recently. Not the game I thought I would be reviewing first, but definitely a game that caught me by surprise. Before we get into that though, I do want to remind you to please hit that like and subscribe button for your chance to win that free hug and free 20 minute phone call with me where you can complain about anything you want. <laughs> anyway, the game I want to talk about is Gotta Protectors. I did not expect this to be the game I would be talking about, so I, I had expected Nobody Saves the World would be my first review coming out this week, but I started playing Gotta Protectors while waiting for Nobody Saves the World to load, and my god, this game is so amazing. Like, it's so much fun. It's literally a hack and slash game on rails. Uh, so the the premise of the game is that your kingdom is under attack and the bad guys are looking to erase all the video game cartridges and so you take your princess and she has a castle that literally is on treads like it's like a tank and it is on rails and goes through and smashes the other castle but you have this like journey that she has to make in this castle and you have to protect her you have different options of characters and each one feels different which i really like there's an array of different characters starting off with the fighter which is kind of like more your tank uh, he's got more power, he's got more life, but doesn't have a lot of speed. And then you have the Amazon, which is kind of your overall, like, uh, I would say like middle of the road on everything. You know, jack of all trades and master of none. Then you have your ninja, who is super fast, and the ninja is my favorite character to use. You're just blasting around the entire level, like flying around. It's so much fun to use the ninja. As well as you have a mage, who of course, more magic, you know, but pretty much a, a glass cannon, you know, <laughs> doesn't have a lot backing her up. You have old guy. Who, uh, he's a simple tank, like, can just take a whole lot of punishment, does a decent amount of damage, but moves like molasses. You have the archer, which of course is going to be your, your ranged attack. You have your prince, which is fast and uses like more um, like charm and support and things of that nature. And then you have the oracle, who is kind of a support, a very interesting character using the oracle. But the point is, is on each mission that you set out, you get three characters you get to choose to your party, and you only get to use one at a time you can tag in and out uh, debating like on like what kind of enemy you're going to be against that really depends on you know how you approach it and what character you use you go through and uh, usually it's a pretty simple maybe like anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes and you're at the end of the mission you are given gold for every enemy you kill for treasure chests you find and, and all sorts of stuff in the game so what you do after that though is you're able to upgrade your skills you can upgrade just your like regular stats your skills your life, the princess's health, and her like beefiness, as well as you can also save this money and upgrade the castle from the main menu or buy new skill sets, allowing your character uh, like a whole range of just different moves. And each character is completely upgradable, so it's really fun to kind of go through with a character, max them out, and then almost restart the en entire game with the new character, and just gives you like this whole new like vibe and this whole new experience playing with a completely different character. It's a uh, been so much fun like this game is so chaotic I, I can't even explain like just how many enemies are on the field at one time and you're trying to protect your your princess as well as just like staying n near her not only for protection but it's also the only way you can heal is because she'll she'll throw out like a healing spell like pretty much rapidly she's just spamming it so if you stand by her you should be pretty good but you can get up some enemies that will like almost like one hit you and you know it's it's game over but you're flying around trying to get chests, trying to beat enemies. There's some enemies obviously that, like summon, so you want to get to the summoner before you know having to deal with their minions. This game really is a lot of fun. I I, I can't say enough about how much this one kind of caught me off guard. I didn't expect to really enjoy it as much as I did. I saw some screenshots and it looked interesting, but no idea how much fun this game really was. And this is one of those games too that I like because if I'm stuck in like the last 24 hours have been in my own world, in my own head about some things and as soon as I play this I forget about everything and I've just been playing that because it's so chaotic it demands your attention and not to mention that the writing is hilarious there is some incredibly funny little taglines in there as far as performance with as much craziness that is going on on the screen I had very little lag very little slowdown if there is any in the video I promise you it's on my computer's fault and not on the, the actual game graphically I like the graphics of it it's you know I, I don't know exactly what like bit 
it is or what style it is, but it's it's fairly simple, like cartoonish, if you will. Uh, but I enjoy it, and I think it fits the narrative very, very well. Uh, and sound, I think, is you know, it, it puts you right back into like that classic like arcade feel. That the, it's totally set up like old school arcade sound. You got it, and then like in between, almost takes you out of that into like a more modern era, if you will. It, it, it's definitely interesting if you pay attention to the sound on it. But uh, I absolutely love this game. And I think like for $14.99 right now, it's definitely worth a pickup. Honestly, I would go ahead and buy the expansion pack. I did not. So I'm going to have to pay for that separately. But uh, right now you can buy the like complete edition for like $24.99. I would say this is definitely worth it. Anyway, that's my opinion of the game. I'm curious to what your thoughts are on it. Have you played it? What do you think about it? You know, what, whatever information you have on it or what games are you playing? Let me know. Anyway, guys, like always, I'm hoping you have health, wealth, and above all, I hope Hope you're truly happy. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys and thank you so much for letting me create content for you. Take care guys. Have a great day.